Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and whoever is watching this that belongs to Harris, this video today is actually sort of a... I, I don't... how can I explain this? An idea, okay? I'm not actually forcing anybody to change these things, of course, but here's the thing. Like, I enjoyed your work pretty much. I like the new menu. It's a lot more simple. It takes feature of the takes feature it shows us a little bit of the event itself but then you came up with the pieces of head and body skin kind of thing that you decided to divide and uh not divide actually su suppress into one small little thing that uh looks something like this where we can only literally choose the body and the gun okay First things first about this. I mean, you have it right, okay? You, 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 if you say that the new skins, let me show up a skin here. Where, 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 where is it? Yeah, like this. Like this entire skin. If it's better to be completed, okay, okay, then we agree with you. But and these skins are fine. I mean, I gotta be honest though. What is that? What the fuck is that? But yeah. Be, 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 <laughs> Besides that little part, besides that little skin, I just have a question. Why can't you just leave uh, an opportunity to us to use the old system and the new system together? Imagine you create a new you create a new system, and after now, every single one of these new skins can only be one piece, and the old ones can actually be divided. It would work something like this. I'm gonna be showing you like in a few seconds in combat arms, how does it work? For those who don't know what combat arms is, it's a fr uh, first person shooter, free to play, and is, okay, It's it has, I mean, it's not the most realistic graphics, but it's still free, okay? And they put a ton of things in the game, uh, a ton of animations, a ton of things, and we're gonna be seeing it in just a few seconds. So, uh, here's a little example of what I'm trying to say. For example, this game here, it's called Combat Arms. It's reloaded since basically the original version has been like masterized or something like that. It, it has been changed, but the mechanics itself has always been the same. This is the gear that we use, okay? Technically, they're like skins almost. There's actually skins just for cosmetics, as you can see here. Just cosmetics, like. One for the head, one for the face, one for the vest, and one for the backpack. But, hold on to your horses, let me just go... Where is it? Did I open it? Yeah, I think I did. Hmm. Oh, there it is. So, for example, here you can see that I have a hat, I have um, a goggles, some goggles that go into the face. I have stripes camo which if i remove it changes the outfit okay but here's the thing i have a full character and if i equip this character i mean i can't have these different different things on top of it right imagine this is the new system of paladin skins as soon as i unseal it and equip it boom this is completely blocked it makes sense. This is the type of thing that Harris you consider in their, in their games, right? Okay, and, and if I try to equip something, it automatically leaves. Okay, so the new standards, um, the new standard skins can have their own separated way. And they can do this and still makes the game fine, okay? So I don't know what, what the hell is the problem here. This is a perfect example of what I'm trying to say, okay? So yeah guys, basically, you have that system, why can't we do the same here? Like, they would put an extra part here for the head, and in case we select the Soul Eater, we couldn't select anything else. But then, for example, I have this on my own, uh, my own account, my main account, and I mean, I like it with this body, with the Millennium body, but I don't have the chance to change it. Why am I forced to actually have these masks, these pieces? Let me just show you Ash, just for example. Look at this. I put this. Do you think this is actually beautiful with this body? This goes well with this body. And that's it. Okay? 
in another thing, you say the people, the new players are gonna be like, oh, it's confusing. Don't come with that shit to us. We are players. We know better. Okay. We warned Harris when we actually said OB64 is gonna be bad. The system of cars is gonna be bad. Please do not make this change. You still went with it. And your answer was, we were too hard to now throw it away. Basically what you were saying is, we don't care the crap of what you guys are saying. That is not the way to work. If you want your audience to be happy, then you gotta give them a chance to be happy with the things they're saying. I mean, I'm not saying change everything that people say. That would be incredibly stupid, okay? That would be incredibly, incredibly stupid. And I understand what you guys are doing. Like This skin right here, this skin right here looks amazing as it is. And I believe even changing it wouldn't it look so beautiful. So I would definitely leave it like this. But still, I mean, you look at this and you say, this piece cannot be divided. Okay, we got it. You're right. Cool. Okay? But at least the old pieces let us choose what we want. And another thing. I don't know how you decided that this piece for this skin was the best one. Because I clearly don't like it. And I know a lot of people don't like it. Okay? You should have leave, leave this as the old system and people would choose the head they want. Okay, you, you created different heads for the same body, why do you only choose one, and one I don't even like, and also, this mistake right here, this is, what the fuck is this, man? <laughs> How did you mess this up? Okay, probably just the, the image of the template, still. <laughs> Pretty funny. Now, just one last thing before I go. Um, as I'm saying, you could leave the system as we saw in Combat Arms. In Combat Arms, Basically, you can select individual parts, uh, but if you choose like a, a spec, a, a specialist, which is, is, is a normal character of itself, you know, it's almost like this skin right here, it's, it's almost like a new character completely, it locks the rest completely. But, the old system, it's still there, like you can put individual pieces as long as you don't wear this character, okay? So basically what I'm saying is, since we already have this body with a different head in the old system, why not leave it like that, okay? And, and about the, the voice packs, I mean, come on. It makes it confusing for new players. Have you even asked new players about that or are you just assuming? Because I know what you're trying to do and I understand, okay? You want to make it advertisable every time that I wear my own skins in order to new people, when they start playing and play with me, they see that skin, they see the entire full skin with the voice pack, and you're like, hey, damn, that's cool. I want that. Okay, we get it, but that is that is not gonna leave the, the people who are always there and always spend money with you happy. Okay? Like, people tend to go to YouTube to see new skins, tend to go to to the PDS to test new skins, okay? And they can only use the skins that they have, and if they want to buy, they go see the skins first. And if that is confusing also for the new players, if you look into the left side, you can see the name of the player and the character itself. So, your arguments is invalid, Harris. Okay, are invalid, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the arguments themselves are invalid, okay? I myself, I don't agree with this. I don't, I don't know, like, I'm not the only person thinking this way. Like this, right here, I saw this, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? So, if I want to wear this part, I can only wear this body? Is that what you're saying? I mean, come on. You let us choose the weapon by its piece, at least let us choose the pieces, the old pieces by its, its thing. In case we select, like, a full skin, the part of the head or the body, whatever you want to do, you would just be locked, okay? It would just appear the same thing in both places, locked. Because you can't change one of the one of the pieces. Okay, we understand that. It's a new skin, it's a full skin. It would have a warning saying, this is a full skin. Good, okay? I know what you're trying to do. You want to remove the pieces out of the game because it lags the game a little bit. Okay, but at least let us, for example, choose. Let me let me let me just give an example. Okay, this is not going to be the full old system. 
but at least it can help. Imagine that I s select this, okay? But there's like, a, you, you just added like a hat, just a hat. At least let me choose on top of this skin, the hat, which is a, a div divided piece, on this body, which is also by divided pieces. It makes sense, Hyrus. Okay? Unless you created just a new skin, like there's a new skin right here, the one, the pirate that I saw. That's a new skin, that's a full skin, and you're like, okay, this cannot be divided. Okay, we cannot put accessories on it. But at least let us move a little bit with the old pieces and let us select the voice packs. Okay, if you want the game to not be confusing, then take away the fucking default voice packs and just give the champion voice packs to every single character. It's a lot easier to identify a character by its own voice and not by the same voice for every single person. Every new champion that starts always go with people who don't even have skins, so they don't even have voice packs, uh, voice packs most of the time, so all of them have the same voice. That's confusing. And even so, even worse than that, think about it. Since when do new players even give a shit of what we are actually saying in the, 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 the voice commands? They don't care. Okay, they absolutely take a shit on it and it's like they didn't even heard anything. I'm being honest right here. When I was a new player, I wouldn't even notice that was actually a thing. I only started using the voice commands like I was level 30 or 40, something like that, okay? And some people even start even later than that, or before, but still. Like, some people don't even give a shit when we say group up. They don't care. They're going solo, they can keep going solo. Okay, that's unfortunately how the game works. I know what you're trying to do. You want to make this the game simple, not too confusing. You know, beautiful and simple, that's what's in, that's what's good. But a lot of people like Paladins because of the customization. And the voice packs don't change anything. It's voice, it's, it's like a fucking a sound effect. You can simply change it every single game. That would be something cool. What the fuck is the point for me to select a default champ, the default, the voice that everybody has for, for example, this Janos? What would be the point for that? Is there any specific reason for that? Please, let me know. Okay? Because one thing is, you don't have the champion voice pack, you have to buy it, then you will have the normal one that everybody has. Okay, that's confusing as fuck for new players, by the way, as I was saying before. And then, if you buy a skin, that's, that skin itself gives you a voice pack. Imagine you don't have the champion itself voice pack. You can easily, like, if you buy a skin, you will get the champion the voice, uh, voice pack unlocked without having to buy it separately. That would be actually something pretty cool. Or you can just use the new champion skin and the normal body if they want it. But most of the times, so if people have a skin, they don't not, they're not going to be using the normal default skin for that champion. It's simple math. Okay? I'm going to put this on Reddit. Hopefully... Somebody at Harris will see this. Hopefully you will rethink what you're doing. Because just like the bio level feature, that is probably the worst thing you have done. I no longer have pleasure playing with certain champions to try to level them up and try to show that I'm better than anybody else. I no longer have that feeling, okay? I don't even fucking care anymore if somebody comes at me with a level 500 Mave. To me, that guy can be a noob. It can be a pro, it can be shit, it, can, it doesn't matter. How the hell am I supposed to know his level? Even sometimes before, if you were level 20, sometimes I would doubt if it, they were better than me or not. It can only just mean that they just played for a long time, it doesn't really matter, but at least don't do this. And also, also, everybody said this before, this is the last thing I'm gonna be saying so the video doesn't get too long either. Everybody said this before. If um, the matchmaking is bad, then how do you fix it? And what Harris did, it, they took away, they took away the frames of the competitive. If you're diamond, if you're master, I mean, come on, are you tired of blindness here? I know that the new frames are cool, but somehow you can still leave there something saying this guy is a master, even if it is just a small symbol in a diamond symbol or a master symbol, like in small in front of a name. 
I mean, you put it there something with the B VIP tiers to show that this person has wasted a ton of money on a VIP. Why can't you put the, the, the normal ranks there? Are you afraid that people say, uh-huh, so the matchmaking was bad because sometimes da diamonds would go against no ranks, and now nobody knows, so technically it's good. I mean, come on, man, we're not stupid. We're simple human beings like you guys. Okay, if anything, you're trying to blind us, think twice before you do that, because I'm not the only person thinking this way, okay? There's a ton of Reddit posts that I've seen, all of them talking about this. Even I thought this at the first time that I heard you saying no longer people can see your rank when you are in the queue. I was like, what the f... Why are you doing this? <laughs> okay, get my point, Harris. Whoever is seeing this, if you are seeing this, hopefully somebody will see this. You can change the, 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 the customization system in order to still leave people happy. And you should definitely take away the VIP tier kind of shit be before or after the name and actually put the rank there okay i know what you're trying to do oh but we're matchmaking it will still not be i'd rather have something and say okay this matchmaking this game is gonna suck because all they're all masters or grandmasters then actually just say okay they are now completely blinding us i don't know if those guys are masters or grandmasters you know what you're forcing me here to do you're forcing me to go into maybe paladin's guru or somewhere else that i can see the ranks of people and then my second monitor, every time I get in the queue, I just search for their names and let me see. Okay, this guy is Grandmaster. You still can't fuck me up here, Iris. I know the matchmaking is fucked. People can still do this, even on their phones, without having to have a second screen. Okay, so think if you are seeing this from Iris. I don't want to be against you. I don't want to be a bad person. I don't want you to be like, okay, this guy is clearly an idiot. Um... I like your work, you're going in the right direction, but there are some things like the buy level feature that is just stupid. Or, for example, locking the voice packs. Like, why? Think about it. You know the people were gonna complain about it, and just like you did with the car system, and you know the people were gonna complain about that too. So, okay. This is all for the video, guys. Um, it's a simple video, like, it doesn't have gameplay, it doesn't have anything. It's, I'm just trying to show how somehow it could be improved in order to me to put this video also on Reddit. So people, so Harris could have a chance to see it, because if putting it on, on YouTube, there's hundreds, thousands of videos on YouTube. And if this actually gets some upvotes or whatever how it's called on Reddit, it can go up in, enough to actually to Harris to see it and actually say, okay... Uh, we're going to consider this, or at least give it, give us an answer saying, no, we're not going to do this, shut the fuck up. Okay, just at least one answer. Because it's not just me. There's a ton of people who are complaining about the system, and yeah. So think about it, Harris. Thank you so much, whoever saw this video, till the end, or even just a bit of it. Uh, thank you also, also so much to everybody who uh, was actually... Um, supporting my channel for so long that we reached reached 1,000 subs recently. Uh, unfortunately, I had a little bit of a like, like a, a, I had a lot of things to do recently, so I haven't been able to do my face reveal yet. But uh, it's pretty soon. I can actually tell you guys that if you guys are wondering. Um, also, check all my videos because the face reveal can actually be in any of you, any of the videos. Hmm. I'm gonna let you guys think about that, huh? <laughs> okay, guys, that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. At Ares, ha uh, happy happy day to you guys, okay? And hopefully you guys can listen us, listen to us here a little bit. And yeah, hopefully you'll take the right choice or at least give us an answer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.